Our previous home, we had a half acre yard and it was all lawn. Although we had secondary water, it just bothered me that we lived in a high desert and why do we water grass in the summertime? But that's kind of the norm here in Northern Utah. I vowed in our next yard, in our next house, my wife was on board too, let's not have a lawn. So we do a zero scape in the front yard and in the backyard, it's a little overgrown. <laughs> Our backyard is a hill, so we have a terrace like Machu Picchu. We do all vegetable gardening and zero scape. Most of it's just these sunflowers that I let go nuts this year. A couple years ago, my daughter was like, Dad, why don't we have a lawn though? So I was like, okay, we'll turn one terrace into a lawn, which has not done very well at all. This soil is very sandy. Lawns are kind of stupid. They take a ridiculous amount of water. In fact, this one tiny lawn takes more water than the rest of the entire yard, including the front yard combined. And it still hasn't grown in all the way. We may take it out and just make it back to zero scape again. But I want to show you a cool tool that we use to monitor our water usage. It's called Flume. And actually the batteries just died on it, so I got to change those out. So Flume has a piece of hardware that resides on the water meter. This is going to be kind of scary, maybe. Well, not too bad. Got to reach down in there and look out. I got to go get it. <laughs> not a fan of spiders. This is the old version. It doesn't have per uh, persistent memory and the batteries don't last as long, but it still works. Okay, that light just blinked. That's a good sign. Now let's put it back together. See that little spinny thing down there? When water is moving, that thing spins, and I think it's magnetic. And the flume has a little Hall effect sensor that detects it, and it indirectly knows how much water is flowing. Cool. <laughs> and it goes back on just like that. Put the lid back on. We are back in business. See, this is in the summertime. We're doing irrigation and household water usage. This is back in April when we weren't doing uh, watering of the yard. Zoom in on this particular day, 11 a.m., 55 gallons that hour. And it's like pretty consistent. That's probably a shower going, something, or maybe even a toilet got stuck for a little while. A few months after I installed Flume, I started having this persistent water usage. 0.08 gallons per minute leak. Main water line had a little pinhole leak done by yours truly. And I was able to dig back down and find the leak and repair it. Pretty wild. I was wasting like hundreds of gallons a month. I didn't even know it. If it wasn't for Flume, I would have never found that leak. 